I wanted to give you a tour of this van I've been working on. I've uh, stripped the seats out of the back and put flooring down and turned this into a camper. Um, so I want to show you what I've been working on. Okay, and so this is kind of an outdoor cooking station here. I'll show you how this works. First of all, I have this little short bungee cord. So I take that bungee cord, hook it right there in the door latch, and then just like that to the wheel well. And that keeps this door from going anywhere when I'm cooking, you see? Okay, so now then, just unlatch that, put that down that pin for later there and then I've made these little wings just out of flashing like you would use on a rooftop or something and basically that's just to keep the wind off the cook stove so let me go get the cook stove and I'll show you what I'm talking about all right so there's the cook stove I would typically use out here Like I said, I, I do a lot of leather working, and so um, I created this little harness for these propane cylinders because I really didn't have any place that I could put this uh, with this little door wide cook area. So I created this right here instead, and um, the way this works, you can just um, I have this on the wrong direction there. This actually goes on that side, and then this part just hooks in the door frame here and allows me to hook up a cook stove, like so. There we go. There. And you can see I can adjust this. I've made it into a, almost like a um, strap right here, almost like a dog collar, and I can either lengthen it out or shorten it either way. And that's how that works. And turn that on, turn that on, light the burner, and we're ready to cook with fire. And then these will go right back where they're supposed to go. That one there. And the propane sling right here. Just like that. And then this leather strap I made, I just snap that back on and it kind of keeps everything where it's supposed to be. You can see I have a lot of storage here. Right now it's just got things thrown in there. Um, getting ready to take a month long trip this fall and so all of that will be reorganized. I might even pull it out and put a refrigerator there in a small bin. I'm not sure just yet. Um, and I want to show you up here too. These beds I've got back here. I have storage underneath both of these. As you can see. Storage there. Storage on this side. And typically this is set up for two people. Um, this trip I'm going to be taking this fall, we're going to have three people actually going. And so let me show you what I've devised for that. We needed an extra bed space, so we're going to make this one giant bed and everybody can stay back here. So let me show you what I've done there. Okay. So let me show you what I've done here. Um, what I did, let me just move these out of the way so you can get a good look. Um, I have... I redid these beds a little bit. As you can see, I put these blocks in here, and that allows me to put bars across here, just like so, and create kind of an extra bed space out of this. So, we got the four of those, just like so. And then I use these extra cushions that I backed, as you can see, with MDF. And that so there we go now the only part that I don't have figured out yet is that that bed uh, the headboard up there I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that because I've got this set up for two people I'll take you back here in the back and show you how it is now and uh, my plan basically I think I'll just put a an entire board 
maybe redo the entire back just with a flat board across there. So let me show you what I've got back there. And so you can see now I, how I have this set up. Um, I actually use this as a compartment for a little portable pod, uh, little portable bathroom that we can carry around with us. It fits in there nicely and can be moved right up to the front if we need to. Um, <clears throat> but I'm thinking I'm going to take this down and actually make a battery box back here because once I put the solar panels on, I'm going to need a dedicated box just to put the batteries in and then seal that off and pos possibly put something else on top of it, some sort of storage or something, I don't know. Um, then on this side, I actually have a bunch of tools and, uh, you know, things like jumper cables, uh, uh, air compressor to inflate the tires. Um, all kinds of different tools like that that I use pretty regularly. I've got more um, propane tanks back here underneath everything. So my idea here is I think I'm going to maybe take both of these boxes down and then just create an entire space back here. One for the battery boxes that's kind of sealed and then someplace here else I can put more tools or you know luggage whatever. The, the two girls that I'm going out west with um, for that month are musicians as well so we may end up carrying a few instruments i'm not sure i know i want to carry some of my leather working stuff um because in the fall is my actually my busiest time with christmas coming on and everything i do a lot of leather working so i'll want to be able to do leather working on the road as we're traveling for that month it's going to be important to have that money rolling in especially out on the road so i'm not sure exactly how i'm going to redo this just yet still kind of pondering it and thinking about it um but that's my dilemma right now is i need with three people going i've got to do a little bit of a modification to make this a full bed i think we can sleep three people here It'll be a little crowded with three people in the van but it's going to be a good time it's going to be a really great trip so i'm looking forward to it for sure Okay, so I'm going to show you some of the other features that I've built into this thing. And one of the most important one is actually the two pantries that I've built. It's important when you're on the road if you're trying to save money to be able to cook actually in the van instead of having to eat every single meal in a restaurant. So let me show you what I've done. Okay, so one of the great features I've built, like I said, were these pantries. This is my canned pantry. So I can put all my canned goods here. And they, of course, with the leather working, I just made a bunch of straps. To hold all of that stuff in there as we're going down the road then back here behind this counter come on up this way i've actually left the countertop out far enough where back here as you can see i have a little pantry back here kind of between the window and this countertop it allows me to store all kinds of food items um mainly boxed items and some cleaning items, stuff like that. So that's my second pantry. This countertop here, you can see I have a little mini cooler. Um, Sonia gave me uh, gave me that to use on the road, so thank you very much for that. And this is actually a little um, a little stove that works off a 12 volt plug. So I got that when I was truck driving years ago. It's it's been a good little oven. It heats up pretty good. So that's a nice thing to have. Then right here, I um, have a carbon monoxide detector. That's for cold days when we're actually using the uh, propane heaters in here. It's important to know you're not getting carbon monoxide um, poisoning. So there's that. Okay, let me show you how this sink works. Um, right now, because I don't have the solar panels on the roof, um, this is where the pump is actually hooked up. It's actually hooked up to this little faucet, which, uh, Hopefully it will work very nicely once I get the solar panels put up. But in the meantime, um, what I have is this little uh, portable shower head. And it has a pump that actually drops down into the freshwater tank. And then it just runs off a 12 volt. Let me show you what I mean. A little curtain hooked up here. Here's the, uh, this is the switch that turns it on and off. A little uh, 12 volt plug here. And another one of those little straps I made. So we'll just take that off. And the way I run it right now is I just plug it into the 12 volt. I could either plug it up there in the front of the van or back here because this is already kind of a conversion van when I bought it. Um, it actually has plugs back here too. So I'll just plug that in. And then you can see by turning that switch on, 
I've got running water. Okay, turn the switch off. Which brings me to the shower. So let me show you how that works. 